Hey guys, welcome back to Alice Mare. So we're now at the Candy House of the Witch, I think. Um, well, let's head in. It looks the same like before, but with candy walls and things sticking out of it. Aha, the key. Uh, I think something's going to happen. <coughs> Take it. Obtained a world key. Okay, so... This house looks like mine. But it's all made of sweets. That's so dreamy. Also, I wonder if it's okay to take a bite. I wouldn't. Teacher was there. Key, don't move. Sweet. Sweet, so sweet. That's weird. Ow, ow, ow. I'm hungry. Uh, okay, well. That's not a good sign. Also, these crabs are weird. Making me weird. Hello? Are you the teacher? Where are you? Why did you come back? I always put you far down on the roads. At this point, I can care for you. You'll only get hurt more. So then, why even come back? I don't like this. Rick. That name again. Rick. Rick. Oh, it's an image of her mother, I think. Hmm. Who is that you keep talking to? There's no one here but me, my husband and you. Disgusting. He exists. He definitely exists. Why? How can you... I... I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Evil witch. Whoa, she went full psycho. <laughs> Why are you always, always doing these things? I'm going to protect Letty. Why you? <gasps> uh... Jump in front of Laddie. And I died. Should have expected that. <sighs> I should have tackled her. Tackle. Oh, I pushed her into the fire? Ma, ma, she went after her. Obtain the notebook scrap. I'm so hungry. If only my house and my clothes could be tasty sweets, then everyone in my family could have a good meal. Oh, but I guess chocolate melts really quick. That won't work. It all burned up. If I take everything on myself, she can smile all the time. I like her, I really do. But why was I born? Teacher, you prepared two beds and clothes for me too. But is this right? Is it wrong for me to exist? Teacher, I. The words toward the end are too blurred to read. Okay, so that was the first world. Uh, right, I had to go back to the white rabbit. Hello. Ah, you made it back. Why are you crying? Because it was fucking sad. One word at a time it is. What a bother. Well, fair enough. You recovered one of them. I collected everything you picked up in the world as well. These will soon vanish at any rate. Alice seems to be hanging on by a thread now. And the torn pages? I'll put this together. Here you are. Obtain the burgundy notebook. Now then, I'll open the door to the next world. I'm counting on you once more. Okay, let's go. Hello. He came up with all the rules of these worlds, you know. I wouldn't make nothing like that. But just give it time, he says. 
Makes all these dumb rules he does. Bah. But we just gotta follow him. Because if we don't, we'll get punished. By who? What? Can a guy talk about what he likes? What you consider normal is very... Of it's gonna vary from person to person. Boy, you look like a wreck. Don't need to get so worked up about somebody you just met. Doesn't that just wear you out? Oh, or did you forget all that too? I know everything because I stole him. Not giving it a back course. So tell me, is it really empty inside ya? Not sure. Maybe there's something. That's so. Well, I'll ask you again later. Praying on high, you don't crack too quick. Hey, it's time. We'll talk later. Uh, why are you so mean? Okay, which door? Locked. Wait, is it the one the next next to this one? Yes. Oh, hey, it's the girl with the, all the teddy bears. What was her name again? Ah, Alice. I uh, guess we'll play. Um, okay. Can you open the closet? Sure. Okay. The teddy bears are still here. A teddy bear. A book labeled Mother Goose. What are little boys made of? What are little boys made of? What are little boys made of? Frogs and snails and puppy dog tails. Oh wait, I know this. <laughs> That's what little boys are made of. What are little girls made of? What are little girls made of? Sugar and spice. And all that's nice. That's what little girls are made of. Oh, cute. The sky is red. Okay, that's not a very good sign. <laughs> huh. A lot of letters inside them. Do I have to read all of them? First... Thank you for the letter. Is your mother alright? You shouldn't push yourself either. And there's any if there's anything you need, please get an adult to help. I owe you so much I owe so much to your mother, if you don't mind. I really like to see you again. There's still plenty of space. So you ask a riddle again this time. This one's harder than the last. Think you can solve it? First of all, it is only two, but in time there are four, then soon eight. How many are there in the end? And Give my best regards to your mother. Your answer to the last riddle was correct. I'm impressed. Yes, it's six, because the end is six letters. Oh, that's a stupid riddle. Ah, you got it yet again. I couldn't solve it myself. Perhaps I'm too hard-headed. I've been hearing such bad news lately. Be careful when you go out, alright? It's gone cold in the change of seasons. But be sure not to catch a cold. Now then, another riddle. Stand and it gets lower. But sit and it gets higher. What could this be? Take care of yourself. Uh, what was the answer? Maybe that one was too hard. The answer is the ceiling. It's lower when you stand, but it's higher when you sit. Clever. By the way, I should be able to come by in about three days from now. It's been so long since we met. I last visited when you were little, so perhaps you don't remember. So next time, let's talk in person. I'll tell you plenty of riddles then too. Look forward to it, I know I will. Wonder whose letters tho those are. It smells delicious. <laughs> Whoa, ah, what's this? Ah! What was that? What? Okay. <laughs> Let's say for a second. <laughs> I was scared I would die. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, are these weapons? Can I take one? 
A drawing of a man's face. Oh, hey. First I want to look if something is in here. No, in a bed, no. Okay. Speak! <laughs> Alan! Who? you scared me. Um, uh... Do you know where this is? A dream, okay. Okay, thanks. Sorry, I'm not good at talking. Can somebody please stop the high-pitched piano note? But I don't hate it, really. It was scary being alone, but I've calmed down a little. Aww. Will you go with me? <gasps> uh, sure. Okay. You want this? Uh, what? <laughs> it's just a blank sheet of paper, but okay. Here. A notebook scrap. This is not a blank sheet. My mother was fa has a very weak body. So I do the cooking, washing and other chores instead of her. My father isn't home much. Sometimes he brings me home a wolf or a deer. I want to go to school, but I love mother. So I always stay at home with her. Mother always lies in bed, saying sorry, I'm sorry. And her voice always sounds like it's about to fade away. That's sad. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Medicine in three colors. Okay. What can we do? Can we go out? It's locked. Hmm, it won't open. That's weird. What should we do? Maybe we can ask these bugs. Do you have a key, perhaps? Uh, I've already read them. Filled with clothes. A teddy bear. I like teddy. <laughs> because he's fluffy and warm. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, who are you? Good day. I'm really hungry right now. Ooh. If you need medicine, there's some in the room over. But the stomach medicine needs to be mixed first. What was it? The first color goes, the second color yields, and the third color stops. That's what grandma said. That's... and it refers to something. But she said it'll explode if I mess it up. So I should stay away. Y you want to try it? Okay, so it explodes so I can try it. Fine. Okay, what were the hints again? First color goes... I don't get it. What kind of colors do I have? Medicine in three colors. A green, yellow, red. First color goes... Oh, wait a minute. I think it, it has to do something with a traffic light, you know? Uh, green goes and red stops and yellow... Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, um... Wait, what was it again? Green goes. So green is the first one, right? Yellow? Last one was stops, right? Uh, I don't want to blow up. <laughs> it didn't explode. Ha! Phew! That should be okay. This medicine should work, I think. Phew! I didn't die. Woo! That's safe. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you drink your stuff. Here you go. Here you brought medicine. Thanks! Ah, uh, much better. I feel great. Alright, I don't need this, so take it. Obtain a notebook scrap. Thank you. My grandma in the woods had a job making medicine. When my mother ran out of medicine, I'd go to 
grandma's house. Wait. One day mother told me to go there like always. I think I know which fairy tale this is. <laughs> Today she wanted to give a present too, since she was indebted to her. It's full of bread and wine, but you're not but you're not to eat it along the way. Like I always tell you, don't stray from the path. I definitely didn't know it was because there are scary wolves, yes. I said I'd do what she said and left the house. While walking through the forest, I found a pretty flower garden. Was that the door? Okay. Let's go. Oh, it's unlocked. I see something shimmery, shimmery, shining here. Pick up. A shard. What's with the shards? I wonder what they're for. That's a nice scarecrow. Okay, can I go here? No. I think I have to go this way. Well, we're outside. But now what? Um, oh. That's right, before you came, Alan, I saw teacher. Again? He said not to go anywhere, but I broke my promise. Should we look for him? Well, let's go to grandma's house. Oh wait, can we pick a few flowers? Fine. You go ahead and pick your flowers. Pick some. Obtain flowers. Thanks, I love the flowers here. To tell the truth, I'm told not to pick them, but it's just a dream, so... Let's go to Grandma's. It's straight ahead from here. Uh, I'm not gonna play the Tetris game <laughs> this time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which way do I go? Do I have to go here? Huh? No bridge. Well, what now? We can get to grandma's. Oh, my head is spinning. In a jam? What kind of a sentence is that? Hello, Alice and Alice. We don't stare too hard. It's deadly, you know. Uh, just kidding. Don't freak. So you want to cross the river? I'll take you over. Not even kidding, but it ain't gonna be free. Just a little game. Love them, don't ya? As you can see, I have here a wolf, a sheep and a cabbage. You want to row your boat? Use your imagination to get them all to the other shore. Except there are a couple of conditions. One, you can only carry one thing on the boat at a time. Two. If you leave the sheep alone with the cabbage, she'll eat it. 3. Leave the wolf alone with the sheep, wolf chow down. Those are the rules. Now, what's the minimum number of times you gotta row across? Talk to me when you get the answer. Get it right and it'll take you to the other shore. But yep, just like the rules of Alice Worlds, you only get 3 guesses. Mess up the third one and it's a dead end, friend. Alrighty, let's get those gears turning. Okay. So, a wolf, sheep, and a cabbage. <sighs> why, why are you doing this? Why, why? Just take us across. Okay. The cabbage and the sheep and the wolf. Mm, okay, so I have to take the sheep first because if I take the cabbage first, the wolf will eat the sheep. And the other way around, if I take the wolf first, the sheep will eat the cabbage. So I take the sheep and I take it across. So that's one. I go back, that's two. I'll take the cabbage. And I'll go back. That's three. I'll take the sheep again. Go back. That's four. I take the wolf. 
I go back. That's five. And then the wolf and the cabbage are alone. And six. Take the sheep. Seven. Seven? Seven? Oh, correct! Alrighty, off on your way. Promise is a promise. Close your eyes. Looks like the other shore. You notice there's a scrap in your hand. Obtain a notebook scrap. Don't stray from the path. I warned myself. But I was sure Grandma would be glad if I could bring her some flowers too. So I picked a flower or two. Then a man came by and asked if I knew a medicine maker. He must have meant Grandma. I told him I was going there too. So he should come with me. The man smiled and helped me pick flowers. Then we held hands and walked to Grandma's house. I don't hold hands with Father much, so it was sort of a new sensation. You're spacing out, what's wrong? It's right here, Grandma's house, let's go! I wonder if Mother's okay. She's always been sick, but Grandma says she'll get better. Someday she won't wake up. She won't talk with me ever again. When I think about it, I cry a lot. Father's all red. It's scary. Father's all red? Ellen, is there someone you want to protect? Um, I want to protect you because you're cute. <laughs> uh, not sure. Oh, you lost your memories, huh, Alan? I didn't meant to. So, I'm sorry. Let's go. It's getting a little cold. It's kind of scary here. Okay, I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna play next time. So, stay tuned.